My name is Tobilo Barawa Desoya. I'm the founder of Adure World. Everything we do at Adure World is 100% handmade from beginning to the end. Adre World started in university when I got admission into Taishna University of Education in 2014. Prior to that time, I've never done anything Thai and I <laughs> in secondary school, in primary school. So when I got admission into school, it was compulsory for all students to do a vocation. I chose textile designing, but that was not what I was doing. So on the other hand, I was just doing it because we have to choose something to do. And I was um, selling chin chin because like I, I needed to I want as a young girl I've always wanted to make my own money and going into school in 2014 was the first time I'll ever live alone so I thought oh let me do something so I have been to call home all the time so I was selling chin chin and at a point I wasn't feeling so fulfilled at selling chin chin so I wanted to do something else in 2015 I registered for an honor personality course and I was working with my school radio and for about a year again, I was <laughs> feeling so good with what I was doing. Then I did a little um, soul searching kind of thing. So in a sheet of paper, I wrote my strength and my passion. And I, I don't remember the other things I wrote, but I remember that I wrote um, fashion as my strength and art as my passion. So I just sat down thinking, what am I doing currently that can combine both together? And I thought, oh, I'm doing one adure like that. So I said, okay, let me just focus on the adure. And that was how the journey started from 2016 to I finished university in 2017, so I continued my journey as a textile designer. I had about 3,000 Naira with me then in school, so what I did was I asked my friends in the hostel, I went to each person's room, I knocked on their door and I said, oh, do you have any cotton fabric that you would like to change into a dress? So I collected their clothes and I dyed it for them for free. And I leveraged on the social media. So I told them that when you upload it, just please just tag me. And sincerely, that was how it all started. They tagged me and the subsequent ones I was doing from their referrals, I got paid for it. So it was more of a t-shirt, leveraging on my friends, using what I have to start the business. We design for fashion designers, we design for wholesalers, and we design for individuals. So some of these people come with their design, come with their sketches, and we put it on fabric for them, which made it custom print. And for me personally, anything can inspire me. I'll say I'm just I'm gifted in a way that I can look at something and bring out a pattern from it. So I'll say I love all my designs. Every designs are unique to me because something inspired them. This was a design we did for International Women's Day. So if you look at the name, you see Umwai, Mata, Olobiri, um, just different names, um, different dialects of how women are called. For this design, this is pebbles. So we call this design Okuta. So what she's doing is like different shapes of pebbles on the fabric. And for her, this design is called a net design. So this one is going through two process of production. This white part was the first waxing. Then this pink, this other part she's doing is the second waxing. I used to work with my dad at my dad's um, apartment. And I remember I faced a lot of challenges because trust me, our business is a dirty business. <laughs> like dye stains and things. So I had my landlady threatening to 
send my parents out of the house, if I don't move my business. And that was in 2020, we moved to a two bedroom apartment. And at some point, the place was not containing us anymore. Then last year we moved to, 2021, we moved to a bigger three bedroom space. And the team members keep growing. It started from me, from me to two people, but currently now we have 12 designers. So the growth has been really amazing. One of my biggest dreams is to have a permanent space where we have different designers coming to work with us and somebody has been able to do it. We have the Mama Nikkei of Nikkei Art Gallery. So like something as big as that in Lagos here. Our biggest challenge in textile designing industry in Nigeria currently is that everything we do is imported. So this really affects the prices of what we do. Like one minute we get a fabric for 2,000 naira, the next minute we are getting a fabric for a more expensive, like it is way more expensive. Apart from that, the industry is thriving. We have more people want to wear made in Nigeria, but if you can have government intercede or try to, and it's so funny that we have the raw materials that these dyes, these fabrics can be made here in Nigeria, but most of these industries that used to make it, they are not really functioning anymore. The top three reasons that my business is really growing is, first of all, God, number two, having an amazing team member. There's a saying that if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with people. I can't talk about my growth without talking about my team members. I've had team members who have been here since 2019. I've had team members who are still here since 2020. So they really helped with growth. And thirdly, I would say um, discipline because um, running business in Nigeria is not easy. I've been selected for different programs and the knowledge I've been able to get from those programs also really, really helped me. The knowledge of bookkeeping, accounting, HR, all those knowledge has really helped me to still be standing six years after starting the business. Running at Real World is not just like another passion or remember I was doing chin chin, I got tired, I was an honor personality. So I'll say running at Real World for me, I feel like I'm, I'm part of something that is really big. So whenever I feel tired, yes, I rest. That's what I do, I make sure I rest. And another thing is having amazing people around me. My team members are like my family members. Whenever we have challenge, we discuss it together. What is the way forward? Because I can't just keep keeping everything to myself and it's seeing them wake up every day <laughs> I can't even like afford to give up because we have about 12 people who depend on monthly salaries and things so when I'm tired I definitely take a rest and I look for how can we move forward <music> What I would say to other budding entrepreneurs out there is, mm, if you're in Nigeria, you can't do it without God. That's number one. And number two, have um, good people around you, people you can go to for advice. And that thing that I mentioned earlier that helped me, if you can, there's a lot of programs that you can apply for that will give you knowledge because prior to starting a drill, I didn't have any business knowledge. None of my parents were running business for me to think, oh, um, I will get my knowledge from this person, but there's a lot of free programs. I've been part of a lot of free programs that has really helped me and their target is women. So you can get a lot of knowledge for free and show up, show up. You never know who is looking at you. You never know who is 
going to call you out. Like the first investment I ever got for my business was when I was working in at the gutter side in 2020. I uploaded a BTS of me de-waxing under the sun and a lady saw me online. She has never met me. She only patronized us once and she was like, okay, I want she she was even the one that really motivated me because after what I faced with my landlady, I was thinking it would be difficult to get a place that they would even allow us to do a direct there so she motivated me and she said okay i'm going to like invest she, she it's not even investment she said she wants to sow a seed of 200 dollars in my business that i should just go and look for a permanent space and that really pushed me so imagine i didn't show up i didn't i didn't make sure i was doing it all the time because even despite the pandemic because then it was still during pandemic but i was still trying to do what i could do and someone is always watching so like i said in conclusion put god first have the right circle of people around you apply for programs and show up all the time Thank you.